Hey, what's up you guys? I am Mrs. Silver and today we are going to go over keywords of word problems for addition and subtraction. So real quick itinerary, we are going to watch a quick one minute video with no words and then we're going to pause the video a couple of times and go over some clue words that we need to write down and I will write them down with you so that at the end um, I can, you guys can pause it even longer if you need to and write down whatever I write down. And then we'll go over what you guys need to do in order to get credit. So let's get started with some jazzy music. Okay, so really quickly to recap that, we went over just some basic um, vocabulary as far as math goes, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, um, plus, minus, which is addition and subtraction, right? So just some kind of alternative words that we like to make up in English. So let's get this video started. It looks like I'm going to pause it at one minute and 41 seconds. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to Problem Solving Strategies 1. Looking for clues and keywords. In this video, you'll learn tricks for finding evidence or clues to help you solve word problems. When you're given a word problem to solve, it can sometimes be confusing. How will you know what to do to find the answer? You know that you'll need to do some math calculation, but how do you know which one is correct? This is a common problem, but don't be afraid of word problems. I'm going to show you some tricks because every word problem gives us hints, no matter what the problem is. It's true. What are some common clues? Let's look at them. Sometimes a word problem will ask you to add without using the word add. How will you know? There will be clues in the word problem that tell you you need to add. Those words are some, more, in all, all together, plus, combined, total, more than, increased. These words all mean the same as add, and they are clues that you will need to add to solve the problem. Okay. So let's write these down and I will do the same. So this is for addition. And if you guys are slower than I am, um, I'll, I'll leave all of this up at the end and all together plus Let's look at an example where the word problem asks you to add without using the word add. Okay, here's a word problem. There are seven pencils on the desk. John drops off two more pencils. How many pencils are there in all? Now, how will we solve this problem? Let's look for clues or keywords. We know that there are pencils on a desk. 
and that John comes along and drops off more pencils. The question asks, how many pencils are there in all? Do you see the clue in the question? Yes, you are right. In all is a clue. You remembered from the word list given before that in all is a clue to use addition in this problem. How many pencils in all? Or how many pencils in total? Or how many pencils all together? All of these mean the same thing. And they all ask us to add. So, seven pencils plus two more pencils that John dropped off equals nine pencils. We've solved this problem by adding. The answer is nine pencils in all, or nine pencils in total, or nine pencils all together. Sometimes a word problem will ask you to subtract or minus without using the word subtract or minus. How will you know? Just like with addition, there will be clues in the word problem telling you that you need to subtract or minus. Those words are take away, fewer than, less than, different, less, shared, give away, decrease, change, less. These words are... Okay, so while I fix this slide, why don't you guys start writing those down and again, I will have everything Oh, I'll make all of this look a lot nicer at the end. <laughs> all mean the same. Oh, I'll give you a couple more seconds there. As subtract or minus. And there are clues that you will need to subtract in order to solve the problem. Let's look at an example where the word problem asks you to subtract without using those words at all. Here's the word problem. There are nine pencils on the desk. Allison comes along and takes five pencils. How many pencils are left? How will we solve this problem? Let's look for clues or key words. We know that there are nine pencils on a desk. We also know that Allison needed five of them, so she took them. The question asks, how many pencils are left? What is the clue in this question? Yes, you are right again. Left is a clue. You remember from the word list given before that left is a clue to use subtraction in this problem. How many pencils are left over? This tells us we need to subtract nine pencils minus five pencils that Allison took equals four pencils. We've solved the problem by using the clues. The answer is four pencils left. So far, you've just learned word clues for two operations present in word problems, addition and subtraction. In part B of this video series, we're going to go over additional keywords for other operations. Don't forget to practice your new skills with our fun games and quizzes online. And remember to always be clever. Okay, always be clever. And we're not going to watch the rest of this video because I'm pretty sure it's just them advertising. So I will make this look nicer towards the end and then you guys can um, copy them. Okay. So in order to get credit for this lesson, guys, and I, I apologize that this is kind of unorganized um, just because I didn't realize there were gonna be so many <laughs> clue words. Um, how do you get credit? You are going to make up or write out and solve three addition or subtraction word problems. So just like the pencil example that she gave, or unless if you wanna use this meme with watermelons as an example, you're welcome to. Um, so three different addition or subtraction word problems. With those, I want uh, a word answer 
or instead of just a number. So what that means is if I'm asking, if I have five watermelons and I add two more, how many watermelons do I have in my car? Well, I would add, I would, oh, nope, add is not one of them. Oh yeah, how many watermelons would I have all together? I would have seven watermelons. So rather than just writing seven, I wanna write out, I will have seven watermelons. Okay guys? So it adds a little bit of context and it makes it easier for me to grade. Um, definitely bonus points for uh, creativity. And then finally, make sure that you're using one of the key words in each one of your problems. So the example that I just gave you guys, I used all together in it. Um, if you guys wanna highlight that, or you can just underline it, just show me that you guys are taking, taking away something from this lesson. So I apologize that this was a little bit unorganized, but I will try to make this look a little bit nicer here in a second. And while I do that, um, feel free to pause the video. Actually, I think you guys can see this. There's your list for subtraction. Here. Okay, so here's what you're gonna use. You're gonna use these addition words or these subtraction words. Use some of these key words and then use it into your problem. And that's it guys. Have an absolutely wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.